Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial about my settings I would use to record with Fraps. These are what I think are the best settings for recording in Fraps. Fraps is a fairly simple recording program and it is probably the most popular one for recording many games, videos, all sorts of things. And whenever you're trying to record a game, which is what it's primarily used for, the only tab that's useful is this movies tab. Screenshots, FPS in general, all those aren't really necessary for video recording for games. Other than maybe the overlay, if you have your FPS counter, because Fraps is an FPS counter, and it's covering up something on the game you need to be able to see, you can move it somewhere else if you want. But that's not too important. For now, go to the Movies tab. For recording games, I would first recommend choosing what folder you want to save your games at. I have a folder picked out already, I have it set up, and you can do that yourself, it's not too difficult. For video capture, I would recommend setting a hotkey that is not used by the game or anything else. I believe you can do like multi-part hotkeys, like if you hold shift and a different number, it'll say shift plus that to, to act as a hotkey. Let me try, test it out. See, it's, you can do shift plus a letter or something, and it'll require two buttons to do it. That's better for making sure the game doesn't use up that key and accidentally start and stop the video without you trying to. So just change it to something that's easy to remember. This is important, video capture settings. Now. 60 FPS, as you know, YouTube has added that to watch videos now on YouTube. You can watch at 60 FPS, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because Fraps saves videos at a really large file size, and putting it at 60 would just make it larger and it will slow down the video. So for something like Fraps, I'd recommend going 30 or 29.97. I'd recommend this even more because slightly less than 30, this actually takes up much less space due to it being less than 30 for some reason. Now, full size and half size. Keep it on full size always. Full size will record the game at the resolution you set the game to in the options. Half size cuts it in half, and that's rarely useful for anything. So keep it full size if you want to record for YouTube. Loop buffer length, leave it at 30. That one won't matter too much, just don't change that. Otherwise it may mess some things up. Just leave it at 30 where it is. I won't talk too much about it because that's more advanced stuff. I would recommend leaving this turned off too, otherwise it'll split your video every time it reaches 4 gigabytes, which is very often, because, like I said, Fraps records at very large, like, files. And if you want to upload and do stuff for Fraps videos, I would recommend compressing them first with a separate program, which I'm going to do a tutorial on later too. For sound capture, put it on stereo, I'd recommend. Multi-channel is not for games generally, it's more for big set setups people have for listening to really advanced audio and it's not good for games. I would recommend keeping this on, record Win 7 sound, because this will record the game sounds pretty much the way your computer has it set up to be on Windows. Record external input. I would definitely have that on if you want to talk while playing a game. Whatever mic you have, make sure your mic is set to default. You can do this by going to control panel, then going to the sound settings, navigating to it and then set your microphone as default. And whenever you do that, it should appear on here after you close and reopen Fraps, it'll be the microphone here, and it'll record using that microphone. Just make sure it's set to default. I would not recommend having this on unless you're recording a tutorial or something, because otherwise you may forget that you're supposed to hold down space to talk, and you'll keep on talking and it won't pick up your voice. But if you want to do something like talking to friends while recording and only record certain things, you can put on push to talk or push to capture. So it'll only record video and, or this is sound actually, it'll only record sound while you're holding down the space bar. These are unnecessary settings. I wouldn't recommend having these on. I, w I would recommend having this on actually, depending on what game you're playing. You can turn off your mouse cursor so it won't pick it up. I would turn these off, because otherwise it could glitch out, like lock frame rate while recording. Theoretically, that would rock, r lock it at the frame rate you set, however, if your computer is laggy or something, it may lock it at a lower frame rate and that could cause problems, and this slows it down and I just wouldn't recommend having that on. This is the simplest settings for Fraps, and the best ones for recording in my opinion. If you want to work on these other settings, they're very simple, Fraps is a simple program, and I hope you found this useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like if you'd want to. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.